Good day, Philo. Today, I just want to highlight the concept of exponents. Expo. Exponent. See now, what does the term exponent implies to us? It has to do now with how many, how many times the base can be repeat repeated you see now how many times a base can be repeated it's like now if i were to give you a base of a with an exponent of three and we have a base somewhere here you also have what here an exponent see then i ask you now to do what to expand the following how are you going to expand the following? It's so simple. You just need to say a multiply by a multiply by a. You see how many a's do I have? Three of them. Each now it has an exponent of one. You see, you get a point. Then now what I'm going to do is I just want to highlight some laws of exponent. The first law that we have, it is a product of powers. You see now. The product of power. Let me say power. It's like now. Okay, it's fine. Power. It's like now if I have A with an exponent of M somewhere A with an exponent of, of N. We can clearly see that we have the same base. For the same base, we add, we are going to add now what? The exponent. You see, we are going to add the exponent. Then the second law, we call it the quotient. See, the quotient of powers, you see? Of powers, you see? Let me take the very same base now of A, C of M. Now we are dividing see we have the same base uh let me write here we have the same base again a with a but now the difference from this one is that we have a division between those exponent then what are we going to do now if we have something like this we must say now for a m then we it's like we move this one upward you see then it's going to be minus and you see this is another rule or the law of exponent let me continue now by saying we have another another law of exponent we call it a negative exponent you see a negative a negative exponent you see, it's like if I were to give you something like this. Let's say a, uh, let me use n minus n. You see, then how are we going to change this thing? It's like now if we have a negative sign on, on our exponent, this thing, it will change. You see, it will change. It's like below this thing, we have one. You see, somehow... The very same exponent now it will go to the denominator then at the end of the day we are going to have something which is like this now get a point to make this exponent positive we must take it to the denominator it's like here check on this one check on this one we had a to the power n below when we take it to the numerator the sign changes it's like now for this one we have an a with an exponent of minus n from numerator to denominator then the sign does what it changes it's like now when we move from numerator to denominator or from denominator to numerator what is going to happen with the sign of the exponent it will change you see now then we also have what now? The fourth one, let me call it a zero exponent. 
you see call it a zero exponent how does this one look like it's like now i have a base of a with an exponent of zero as for this one it's so simple we'll call like everything especially for base with an exponent of zero you just need to know that it changes to one you see it changes to one then lastly um let me give you this one i call it a fraction fractional exponent then how does this oh sorry the light there sorry the light uh the fractional exponent how does this one look like it's like now i have a root like this inside a root i have in a base with an exponent of n then for this one how then must i remove this root sign in order for me to have a base with a complete exponent check it's so simple it's so simple this exponent inside our root is going to be on our numerator numerator you see then any number which is next to this root in this case is n it's going to be in our denominator then for us to change this entire it's going to be now a m divided by n you see the point I just wanted to highlight this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give you an example for us to work with you see just give me a chance to erase here okay i won't take long i won't take long okay we're done you see suppose if now I were to give you something like this now let's see if we have 25 x and i also have what 5 1 5 15 which is now x plus 1 then division sign then now we have 3 x somewhere here lastly we have 5 minus x then i ask you to simplify in the following how then are we going to simplify the following exponent firstly we must make sure that all of our base they are the prime vectors you see then now we have 25 we must change this 25 to the prime base you see you can use your calculator by saying now 25 equal sign then press shift fact you see it's going to be 5 squared it's going to be 5 squared then put your minus x you also have 15 see 15 equal sign shift fact you get 3 multiplied by 5 3 multiplied by multiplication there x plus 1 then you divide by 3x we have 3 minus 5 then okay let us simplify it's like now i have to say 2 multiply by negative x i'm going to get 5 minus 2x you see then i have 3 and also 5 each has an exponent of 1 don't forget that you see then let me solve now I have this expression outside oh let me just see this exponent outside this bracket then i'm going to multiply one with x i get one x somehow i get x then the very same one multiply by that one i get one again then same applies to that five i'm going to get the same thing you see it won't change because i have an exponent of one going to get x plus 
y then i divide by 3 and then do x5 minus x you see now then i have something like this then for us to further simplify this at this point we can then see okay now i have five i also have five on our numerator you see you can then do what you can then add those exponent you see you can then add those exponent by saying now plus x plus y you see you can then add those exponent then again now i also have this five with a negative x exponent i want to take this negative x to the numerator now what is going to happen to that sign eventually it will change to be plus x you see same applies i have this numerator which is 3x plus 1 i want to take this x from this one and move it to the numerator what is going to happen to this x of this 3 it will change to minus x eventually at this point i can then now say okay negative 2 plus 1 i get minus 1x minus 1x plus 1x i get they cancel this one they will cancel then i'm going to be remain with what with one don't change then let's see x minus x they cancel then i'm going to remain with three to the power one then it's like now i have five multiplied by three which is now what three 15 you see it's so simple and again if you are new to this channel don't forget to do what to subscribe you see now i want to give you another example you see allow me to erase i won't take long you see i won't take long Okay, almost done. Then now, the example that I'm going to give you now is this one. Let's look at this example. Suppose if I have five x with five x minus two, then I divide everything by two multiply by five. X is five. Then slide neatly. I have five. Then I also have what minus five x. You see. Then now, how then I am going to answer this question? It's so simple. When you come across this expression of exponent, whereby in between those numbers you have either uh, a positive or a negative like in this case we have negative both in some cases you do have a positive sign the first thing that you must do is to rewrite the exponent those with two with two let me say binomial of exponent you see like this one you must rewrite them in such a way that each have a monomial you see check it's like now another way of writing 5 minus 2 sorry 5x minus 2 i can write this this entire in this format by saying now i have 5 minus 2 you see we must split it like this you see 
this and this is one and the same thing you see let us split it now we have 5x minus 5x then i have 5 minus 2 then so i'm going to have 2 5x have minus 5x you see if we can look carefully on this on this given expression 5 to the power x it appears like many times you see another way to make things much easier for you you can then just say let now let 5 x be equals to k where you see 5 x put k you see where you see 5 x put k we have this one which is going to be 5 minus 2 we get 1 over 25 see then this side we have 2 where you see 5 to the power x you put place k minus k you see let us factor out this k now we are going to get something which is like this now k 1 for this one minus I take out k going to remain with 1 over 25 then I take out k this side remain with 2 minus 1 k and k cancel then at this point you can then use what you calculate you see it's like now I have 1 minus 1 over 25 I get 24 over 25 2 minus 1 i get 1 at the end of the day this is going to be what now my answer do you see that's it thank you